All right, a flow like this should work for you. Um, here's what I've got going on. I'm going to set a page number. This is going to be the number, the page number that we extract from the PDF. And I set that to one to start. I set a variable called run loop to true. And I create a data table. I'll show you what I do with this later on. Um, and uh, then I delete the row from first row, row zero from that data table. And then I'm going to loop while run loop equals true. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to convert the page number the first time through one to text. I'm going to add it to a file suffix. I'm just going to pad zeros to it. I want it uh, three characters in length. So the first file I create is going to be 001. The next one's going to be 002, 003. And I know that we can iterate using the extract PDF. It will let us do that if a file has the same name, but I want to control the file naming convention. I like having, you know, a standard of 001, 002, because if you get beyond 10, you know, um, if you have, you know, one, two, three, and then 10, 10 lines up after one, as opposed to being in proper order. So either way, just me kind of controlling the page number. So I've got an 18 page document. It's a chapter 22 of my book, Building Your IT Career, wrote this several years ago. So 18 pages, it'll take us through the first page all the way through the chapter and at the end, we'll have this actions and ideas page. So that'll be relevant in just a minute. So right now, here's what's in the folder. This is where I'm gonna create them. And then what happens is, here's where we extract the page number. I use the um, same file structure, but I save it with the save file name that I've created with the iterative number. And then what I do is on error, if the page is out of bounds, so now if I'm asking for page 19 of my 18 page PDF, whatever page number it is, the page is gonna be out of bounds. And what I do at that point is I set the run loop variable to false, and that's gonna end our looping. So if it's true, if it, has found the page number and was able to extract it, it inserts a row into my data table and increases my variable page number variable by one. So it can loop back around, creates the same you know, suffix with one will become two, so it'll be 002, 003, and it extracts the uh, page from the PDF. So we'll take a look at it. We'll run this flow and we will um, take a look at the file structure as we do it. So let's run this. And look here. So there we are. There are the files being created. All right, page 11. So after 18, it's going to error out. That'll take it out of the loop, and we'll be done. So what I point out here is that you could attach the files here after they're created successfully, because this, this indicates there was a, success, a successful file creation. But you can also, if you wanted to, go through this files created. You don't have to create this data table, but if you do, you could just, after the loop, if there was other cleanup you had to do or other things to prepare Outlook, whatever it was, you could then go in here and iterate through these just using a for each loop. And after you're done attaching them, maybe you move them to another folder so that there's not a bunch of files with this name in that folder. So hopefully that helps you. That should work to accomplish what you need.